<laughs> yeah, one of my friends, she's texting a guy right now, and he he's not that into her. He He's replying to her, like, every 12 days or so, right? <laughs> yeah, it's very festive. Yeah. <laughs> and she decided to handle it like this. She decided to text him, why aren't you replying? Why don't you like me? What are you doing? <laughs> All of those things, yeah. I got very mad at her. I was like, hey, that's not how you deal with a situation like that, okay? You, that's crazy. You don't text a guy those things, right? If you really want to know, you drive to his house and you look in the window. <laughs> like an adult. Also, always date a guy on the first floor. <laughs> all my ex-boyfriends, they all think I'm very chill, which is really funny. <laughs> Mostly for me, right? Because it's very easy to trick guys. It's very easy. This is all I did for all three of my boyfriends. I, this is all I did. I just would throw my coat on the ground. And I, would, I don't even care where my coat goes. <laughs> And he would be like, whoa, my girl's chill. <laughs> Boys, I got me a good one. <laughs> yeah. And then I would turn around and make copies of keys that I found, right? <laughs> And I'll let myself in. <laughs> He's like, how'd you get in here? And I'm like, look at my coat. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, right, oh, right, yeah, yeah. I must have let you in. <laughs> Men. <laughs> Men. <laughs> Nailed it, ladies. No. <laughs> no, that's not. That's not a thing. <laughs> I, uh... But that's very old fashioned, right? Like stalking in real life. <laughs> that's old fashioned, yeah, because we have apps now. There are apps on our phones. That I have three apps on my phone that will tell me exactly where my boyfriend is at all times without his consent. <laughs> Which I've never said that sentence without smiling. <laughs> And now I can track exactly how much water my boyfriend is drinking every day <laughs> through meal tracking apps. Yeah. He puts it in himself. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm a health nut. <laughs> and if it's more water than usual, if it's more water than he normally drinks in a day, we're going to have a problem. Yeah. I'm going to be like, why do you need all that extra moisture? <laughs> Where, where is that going? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys are like, too crazy for me. <laughs> uh, I went to my boyfriend's white Christmas this year. Yeah, it was in Calgary, it was snowing, and also his family's white, yeah. <laughs> Double. Yeah, hey. <laughs> and yeah, it was nice. Uh, just one thing happened. So his cousin came up to me and he was like, hey, my girlfriend's coming to this party. You're going to love her. And I was like, why? And he, he was like, she's a Filipino. <laughs> he said, a Filipino. <laughs> and I was like, okay, that's the vibe of this party, okay. <laughs> and the whole rest of the whole party, I was like waiting for th this Filipino girl to show up, right? I was like doing push-ups, you know? <laughs> I was running, uh, running laps. I was like, you can do this. You can do this. <laughs> Prepping. And she finally, she arrived, and they put us next to each other. Yeah. And they were like, hmm? <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> and they were like backing away. And we were finally alone together, me and this Filipino girl, right? And we had a moment together, yeah, yeah, woman to woman, and I killed her, yeah. <laughs> I killed her because you go get your own white family. <laughs> this one's mine. <laughs> they're hard to find. <laughs> no, just kidding, they're not. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's pretty easy. Mm. <laughs>